so this is android 5 pre-release one on the redmi note 5 pro hey what's happening guys this is tito and you are watching kdn tech and let me just do the full review of this Pi gsi image and if you want to know how to flash android 5 on your redmi note 5 pro here's a card in the i button so without further ado let me make it happen I have been using this CSI for a couple of days now and to be honest I am literally surprised that how good almost everything is running fine over here on the Redmi Note 5 Pro even though I have a 4GB variant and this CSI is straight unofficial port from Google Pixel XL so huge thanks to all the developers. The stock Android Pie launcher here is smooth and I did not face any hiccups or stutters in day to day usage as you can see. We have Google Now cards, tap and hold functionality and all other stuff you would expect from a Pixel launcher and everything is just better than it was on audio. Even widgets are working super fine here as you can see I am using this subscriber count widget and we just crossed 6000 subscribers mark while I am recording this voiceover so huge thanks to you guys for supporting the work. It means a lot to me. Keep supporting and thank you for having all the love for this channel. Here are the launcher settings. We have notification dots and you can change the icon shapes too from here like to square, rounded square, teardrop or something else if you want to. I'll set teardrop and swiping a little bit will get you the recent apps panel. Swiping all the way up from the bottom will get you to the app drawer. And as you can see I have flashed magisk here because banking apps like this were not working without flashing magisk. But with Magisk 16.7, you can get safety networking super fine and even banking apps like Google this just works fine afterwards when you are using Magisk Hide. So yeah, it's amazing. It's just great if you keep in mind that we are running Android 9.0 here. And I just love how quickly each and every apps open up in Android Pie. Well, let's talk camera now. If you are wondering about portrait mode and stuff, well, you my friend are gonna be disappointed in the Pi GSI as of now because I have been using the open camera for normal pictures or videos which are working fine. Here is an example, but I tried to install multiple camera ports and mods such as the Mi A2 camera port for Android Pi, which is for Mi A1 specifically, I guess. I mean, it's working on Mi A1, I guess. It's a magisk module so yeah I flashed it. It was mostly for stopping and it says can't connect to camera most of the time as you can see. The normal camera mode froze as you can see the screen isn't even moving. So let me try to take a picture in portrait mode quickly and this is how it looks like. And even I tried taking a video sample and this is how the video sample looks like. And for the front camera portrait mode, as you can see, it does show the background blur in real time. But as you can see, as soon as you hit the capture button, it simply full stops the camera and says can't connect to camera. So yeah, Mi A2 camera port isn't simply usable. The next one, the Mi A2 stop camera port. This is not for Android P. So I just tried to install it with the Magisk module. It did not even open up for once. Force closes every time. The next thing I tried is the MGC camera mod, which is the Google camera port. Yeah, it does work for taking normal pictures, but as soon as you hit the settings button, it will end up in black screen. And to get it back working again, you have to clear the data and restart the app again by force stopping it. But if you don't touch the settings, it will keep working fine as long as you take normal pictures. But as you can't get into the settings here, so no portrait mode from here too. So the camera is not able to work at its full potential at least for now in Android Pie. And it's the only con in Android Pie on the Redmi Note 5 Pro in my frank opinion as of today. Now let's talk some nifty little things here. Ambient display is working super fine and here is how it looks like. But note that double tap to wake sometimes works but sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> mm. 
and whole notification animations like the heads up looks awesome over here. The way it appears and the way it disappears feels super sleek to look at and it's literally awesome. And while calling someone if you press the home button, it will show up a chat head like this as you see for Facebook Messenger. And if you tap on the bubble head or the chat head or whatever, it will give you the options to mute, to go back to the in-call UI, turn on speakerphone and to end the call. And yeah, GeoVaulty calling is working super fine too over here so you don't have to worry. And you can just end the call like this. And let me show you the text cursor thing while typing in case you missed in my previous video. This is how the incoming call heads up looks like. Pretty cool stuff and colorful as well. But let me just pick up the call and come back again. So while writing something anywhere on Android Pie, if you just swipe on the cursor, it will show you this kind of magnified look over here on the top of the text, which is pretty convenient in my frank opinion. And it works in all of the apps where you can type. Here is the fingerprint scanner speed just in case if you wanted to see that. Works amazingly fast I have to say. The quick toggles over here as you can see are fresh of Android Pie and the circular look gives it like a much fresh look when compared to the Android Lollipop, Marshmallow, Audio or whatever. One more good thing here is that the Wi-Fi hotspot does show up as even 5GHz too which is really awesome and here while the auto rotate is off in Android Pie it literally is not a problem because you don't have to pull the quick toggles again then turn on the auto rotate option here no matter which app you are using whenever you turn the phone sideways it will show you some rotation reminder like this on the navigation panel and tapping on it means you want the screen to be rotated for this particular app and it works flawlessly even when the auto rotate is actually off and you rotate the screen again it will show up again pretty cool stuff and here is the new recent apps panel again looks pretty sweet as you can see and you can just quickly switch between apps which is really convenient with this gesture and fast enough but it takes a little bit of time to get used to so keep that in mind once you switch to android p it's gonna take you a little while Nightlight is working fine so if you are someone who stays up at late night it's definitely gonna help you and inside the about phone of course it shows android version as 9 and it does this hallucinating stuff by tapping on it multiple times which is a special thing of android Pie. and the security patch over here is the latest august 5th 2018 and we have a system updater too over here where you can check for updates but i'm not actually sure if it's gonna actually work or not and one thing you need to keep in mind that if you wanna flash this by GSI for the first time after flashing, go to the about phone, tap on the build number 7 times, then go to developer settings, from here tap this default USB configuration, here select this file transfer option, unless and until you do this, your phone storage won't be showing up on your PC when you connect it via USB cable, so keep that in mind. And in Android Pie, the volume panels comes from the sides which looks cool and simpler in my opinion and if you tap on the settings it will forward you straight to the full sound settings which is great the next thing i am going to talk about here well the battery life this thing gives amazing battery life i'm not even kidding look at the screen on time almost eight hours of screen on time with 20 percent plus battery left and we are running android pi here i think even phones like me too won't be even close to this what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below. And we have battery percentage option over here and battery saver and stuff like that over here. Note that I did not enable battery saver mode in this usage. The Google Assistant for some reason is stuck at this screen, I don't know why. Even on my Redmi Note 3 on Oreo it's the same. No idea maybe because of the G apps or something, I don't know. It used to work though even on the developer preview 4 when I tried the last time. Anyway, this is how the lock screen looks like. We have the lock screen clock, the date with month and a small ambient weather logo. With the temperature and below that we have the notifications and the fingerprint icon to the bottom. And once you unlock the screen, the wallpaper does a sweet animation and it changes the colors with time of the day depending on the weather. Pretty sweet. 
and in travel checker app it shows the device is compatible for project travel and it does support seamless software updates which is just awesome and now let me open a few apps and show you the app open up speeds and yeah i gotta say the app open up speeds are super fast even on third party apps like even instagram or facebook opens almost instantly and the ram management well the memory management has been great and never faced any kind of issues like force closing in the background or auto remove from memory so that's a great thing right there as all the apps i opened stays in memory for a long time and look at the transitions of the app open ups look super awesome in my opinion And if you are wondering about the gameplay, well yeah, I did play PUBG and it ran quite fine in HD high frame rate settings. Here is the gameplay. So conclusion, in my opinion, if you want to taste sweet little pie on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, this is the great time to do that. Because in my testing, I did not face any issues except for the camera doesn't work at its best. Yes, you can take normal pictures, yes, you can take normal videos, but no portrait mode here. So in my opinion, this has been great experience considering it's so early that even Google released it in pre-release build for Pixel devices, not even stable. And we are getting almost everything like fingerprint scanner, Vault TE, Wi-Fi, data, hotspot and almost all other latest and greatest Android Pie features is running super fine on our 15,000 rupee phone. Which is just insane. This is why I love to flash stuff. This is why I'll continue doing it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Share this video with your friends in case you feel it was worth your eyes. This is Tito from Carry and Take signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one.